Hello Virgo, welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you have been here before. I thank you so much for joining me. I do appreciate your viewership and your engagement. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if this resonates with you or you find any value in this reading. This is for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. This is a collective reading, so it's going to be a lot of different people's energies that I'm picking up on. Let's start off with the first card. Your first card is Major Life Change. The time is right for major life changes as a new lifestyle or location brings great joy and a trouble-free existence. And with some of these cards that I see for you, I understand why you are doing that. We have Dance in the Storm. And then y'all gonna have to read that because I don't want to be demonetized. F yeah is what it says. So you're going through something, but Spirit is saying it's going to be all right. You're going to dance through it. We have Judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique paths and challenges. And I feel you are at a crossroads with someone and it's, it's time to move on. Look at this, y'all. We have feel your feels, speak your mind, find your peace, and be unapologetic about all of it. With the overall energy of your possible love connection, if you're in one, then already involved. Do not overstay your welcome. It says run. Things will not change. Keep moving forward. This person will only tell you what you want to hear, okay? So be very mindful of that. Because look, Spirit is saying your intuition is, is on. You know exactly what to do, okay? That's cancer energy. Some of you could be connected to a uh, cancer, or this is just your own intuition coming through. You could have cancer placements in your chart. We have change what needs to be changed. It's time for change, y'all. Major life change. Rush hour. This is happening quickly. These changes are coming in quickly. We have waste not. This is about saving money, downsizing, when possible, conserving energy. Uh, it says reduce your carbon footprint, recycle, declutter, and donate used belongings. Uh, this is about sustainability practices, mindful living, go green whenever possible. These are just general messages, y'all. Then we have an overdue apology arrives. So this person could be coming back to offer you an apology. Could be a Libra you're dealing with. Um, some of you could be on the Virgo Libra, uh, Libra cusp. Some of you could be on the Leo Virgo cusp because this is about you finding your inner strength, being in focus, being in control. Okay, Spirit says exercise. You need to get some exercise as well. Okay, so your cards are doors are closed. The doors closed, cycles, and emotionally immature. It says not the right time for love, not ready. Keep going through the same thing. Wake up call, break the cycle, positive change. And then we have don't know how to, does, what, what does it say? We have don't know how to treat you, a disconnect, lacks presence. This will be short-lived. We see that because this person is also already involved, but this is an emotionally immature, unavailable person. We have obsessed. I'm yours, your mind. The chemistry is insane. I can't keep my hands off of you. We have friends with benefits. I really like you. Hopefully this can turn into more. And then we have wedge. Third party, someone interfering, trying to stop someone from moving forward. And this person is forced, well, that could be, um, a fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, that may be the third party in your situation here. I feel like some of you are dealing with somebody who has somebody else in their energy here, and maybe they really feel more for you than this other person, but they have this other person that's really toxic in their energy field. That's not letting them go because they are a wedge between you two, and this person is very forceful. <laughs> Let's clarify and see if we can get some understanding and what's being said here what is this doors closed so you look like you're walking away it says not the right time not ready we have the sun yeah some of you are moving just towards your happiness leo or leo could be involved or like i said you are on the leo Virg, leo virgo cusp you're just making positive changes you want to be happy you don't have time for mess we have cycles being clarified by page of wands it could be a younger fire sign you're dealing with leo aries sagittarius here um, this person is just a player. This is a heartbreaker. This is a person who's non-committal. They fall in and out of love very quickly. The page of wands is not someone you can settle down with. <clears throat> it could also be immaturity. It could be someone from your past. Um, very passionate though, but they definitely get around. Okay. What's emotional, emotionally immature? Coming out as the star. Okay. It could be an Aquarius that you're dealing with here. I feel like this is someone you put a lot of, I mean, look how she's looking at him in the card. You put a lot of focus on this person, a lot of hope you have for them. And they just don't get it. This person just doesn't get it. Don't know how to treat you. A disconnect. Lacks presence. This will be short-lived. Yeah, that's that page of Mars energy as well. 
Yeah, this is the person that you try to heal this connection. You try to work with them. You try to be there for them. You try to make this work. But now you have lost hope. You've lost faith. And, you know, this person depresses you and you feel very negative feelings about them now. What is this obsessed? Death. Mm -hmm. This is a Scorpio energy here. Wow. Okay, so yeah, it's time to move on from... It's time to move on from someone who I feel like is obsessed with you. There's a codependency here. The, the chemistry is insane because I see the page of wands. And I can imagine that it's very insane. I can't keep my hands off you, but it's very physical. Friends with benefits. It's very physical, but it hasn't progressed beyond that because of this third party. What is going on here with the friends with benefits? We have the nine of pentacles. Yeah, this is someone who um, you're better off being single than dealing with this person. You can do bad all by yourself is what I'm hearing. You know, you are successful in your own right. This is, you know, the Nine of Pentacles is your own energy coming out, Virgo. And so, Spirit is saying you're good all by yourself. You don't need to be someone's, you know, situate in a situation shit with someone who, you know, has his friends with benefits, non-committal energy with you. Even though I think they may want more, they are not committed because they have this third party. Who's the third party? The third party is the Emperor. And, and I was going to say it could be an Aries. It could definitely be an Aries. Who's your person's third party? This person is definitely a tyrant, a bully, a control freak. Yeah. And then we have emotionally... Oh, wait, no. And then we have already involved with the four of swords at the bottom. Yeah. So this is a could be a Libra that you're dealing with here. And this is the person who probably pulls away from you. A lot of inconsistencies with this person. Those are your messages. I will see you all tomorrow, Virgo. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Peace, y'all.